Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're just going to be thinking about Mormonism and answering the question Is Mormonism Christianity? Now, a lot of Mormons will, will come along and say, Jay, you know, look, it's just a matter of interpretation. You know, you're a Christian, you believe the Bible, we believe the Bible, you believe in Jesus, we believe in Jesus. And there's no real big difference. It's just a matter of slight interpretations about various texts. But at the end of the day, you know, it's no big deal, and I think you're being over the top in critiquing Mormonism. So what is my reply to that? Well, uh, I just want to read a quote, um, and um, this is by um, a Christian apologist by Matt Slick, and he says this, When the Mormon says he accepts the Lord Jesus as his Redeemer and Saviour, he is not acknowledging the true Jesus, instead he is believing in the Mormon concept of Jesus. There's a big difference between the LDS Jesus and the Jesus of the Bible. The LDS Jesus is created thing, the brother of the devil, uh, created thing, the brother of the devil and of us. Now I just want to stop there. For a Mormon to say that Jesus has been created is a completely different Jesus than what the Bible is teaching. It says in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In other words, Jesus was not created. He has always been. He is the Word, and God is the Word. So, there's a massive difference between Mormonism and Christianity, and that is Jesus. The Mormon view of Jesus is completely different. Also, Mormons don't really understand uh, the cross of Christ. It says in 1 Peter chapter 1, 2 verse 24, Who himself bore our sins on his own body on the tree, that we having died to sin, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes we were healed. The way to get saved from a Christian perspective is believing in Jesus Christ and dying on a cross. Now that is how you get saved. Is believing that Jesus died for you and gave his life for you on the cross. Now... For the Mormon, the big thing is the Aaronic Priesthood. This is the central thing. Uh, and you go through a, 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 a process of, of uh, going to the Mormon temple and, and being initiated in various rites and things. And so, in other words, the simplicity of the Gospel that you just get saved by believing in Jesus Christ is not what it is in Mormonism. In Mormonism, it's Jesus Christ, the Jesus, plus other Mormon teaching and when a Mormon missionary comes to you they'll present to you certain things that you will agree with so you say oh yeah I agree with that oh there's no difference between the Mormons and us and then once you accept that you don't realize that you you then enter into a culture where as you enter that culture the Mormon culture you are then given loads of other things to salvation that is nothing to do with Jesus but they don't tell you that until you commit yourself okay the other thing as well is they say open yourself up to the spirit and allow the spirit to teach you whether Joseph Smith is true but that's opening yourself up to demonic um, forces because it says this it says in 1 John 1 it says that which we from the beginning which we have heard which we have seen with our eyes which we have looked upon and our hands have handled concerning the word of life the life was manifest and we have seen and bear witness and declare to you the eternal life which was with the father and was manifested to us that which we have seen and heard we have declared to you that you also may have fellowship with us and truly our fellowship is with the father and with his son Jesus Christ these things were write to you that your joy may be full this is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have not sinned we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we have made him a liar and his word is not in us. 
My little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he himself is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the whole world. And basically, the, the, the writer of 1 John there is basically saying, look, truth is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And this is the test of truth. And the Mormons do not teach the same Christ as the New Testament. They do not teach that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. But that Jesus Christ was a created being. And therefore it's not true Christianity. And it's a dangerous cult. Uh, brainwashing people. And when they say open yourself up to the spirit. The spirit only works with truth so you can't just open yourself up to the spirit unless you're reading the word of God and testing what the Mormons teach by the word of God you've got to test the spirits so read the word of God and see if what the Mormons are teaching is biblical that's how you test you don't just open yourself up to the spirit you allow the Holy Spirit to teach you through the word of God the spirit and, and truth It says in uh, 1 John chapter 2 verse 18, Little children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard, that the Antichrist is coming. Even now many Antichrists have come, by which we know that it is the last hour. They went out from among us. They were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. And they went out that they might be made manifest that none of them were of us. Who is a liar but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ he is Antichrist who denies the Father and the Son so you mustn't have anything to do with Mormonism but come into the true light look at the links on my channel and you'll find truth and you'll find Christ thank you